Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing good. So uh, it's a bit of a different kind of video today. It's more of like a chill out one. And uh, we've got a few bits I wanted to go through just before we see the final episode over on Kenobi. So uh, before we jump in, it's going to be an interesting one, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new and we can finish this Kenobi journey together. Move on to Andor, Mando, Ahsoka and the rest of it. And remember to leave a like on the video. Really helps out the channel and uh, I really appreciate it. So thank you. So... <laughs> We are almost there. We are almost there. Okay, so there's one thing I wanted to look at really. So technically, the first review is in for Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 6. And uh, we're going to take a look at that now. Right, so let's bring us over here onto the old Twitter. And this is Tracy Kenobio, Kenobio, or it could actually be Kenobio. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Sorry if I've really butchered that. But uh, this lady is a Lucasfilm publicist. Says it in her bio here. And has a pretty serious obsession with Star Wars. Tweets her own. Now, I've been looking at her timeline. And uh, it looks like she's been handling the press tour for Ewan and Hayden, the Kenobi show in general. So that's a pretty dope job, if you ask me. Now... Someone's asked her, have you seen the episode yet? Can you share your reaction to it? She's obviously tweeted, the Obi-Wan Kenobi press tour continues. It's time. This time it's Team Canada representing it for the show. She goes, yes, one of my favourite moments in all of Star Wars happens in the final. Deborah Chow nailed it. Now that is a different tone to what we typically see on Twitter, to be fair with you for the Kenobi show from a lot of people. Um, but it's a positive one and uh, it, it fills me with... Uh, with some hype there going into the final episode and in, just in case i needed any more i didn't because i'm massively hyped anyway but this uh this lady here is a, a prequel trilogy fan so she is of the that era where you know because you sort of get two star two types or three types of star wars fans you get what do you get four actually you get the original trilogy fans the prequel trilogy you get the sequel trilogy fans and then you get the sort of the fan that loves everything so you get four types and this lady seems to be very of like the prequel trilogy from what i can see on the timeline there so uh, for her to say that and uh, she really enjoyed the final and deborah chow nailed it hits me with a lot of confidence considering these are prequel characters so that's what i just wanted to whiz through on that part quickly so i've been seeing a lot of people upload and post what they want to see from the final episode of obi-wan kenobi and uh, I've been thinking to myself, because I haven't actually done a video on it, what would I want to see in the final episode? And for me, there are a few key things. I want to see, in general, the show wrapped up properly. In case we don't get a season two, I want it to feel like it can finish there. That we don't need a season two for it. Because, you know, it's only rumours at the moment. We may not actually get one. So I want it to be tidy and tied up with a bow on top and apparently i've heard that's what the last part of the show is going to be wrapping all up the wrapping up all the loose ends and uh, hopefully addressing uh, a few things as well like with reva and uh, what's going to happen there now she knows about luke and probably leia i also want to see an epic fight between obi-wan and kenobi and darth vader now my expectations aren't set on it being better than their original fight in Revenge of the Sith. I've covered a video on that already, uh, the reasons why, but in short, because, you know, these are two kind of different characters now to what they were back then. Obi-Wan is a little bit older, yeah, but he's, he's definitely still got it. Uh, Vader, on the other hand, you know, he's not as agile and as quick as Anakin, and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a different type of fighter nowadays. It's not going to be as fast and intense. That being said, I do still expect it to be faster than what we got in The New Hope. If we get it as slow as it was in The New Hope, uh, then uh, I'm not going to be that impressed with it, to be honest. But I'm hoping it's somewhere in the middle because The New Hope was like that because of, you know, the time it was done, you know, back in 1977, I think. So that's the reason. I also would like to get some familiar music that we all know and love, such as Duel of the Fates, we had that dropped in the trailer, but yet we haven't had it in the show. What better time than to have Obi-Wan and Vader confront each other on whatever planet or moon they're going to be doing it on. If it's 
a moon of Mustafa, if it's Mustafa, if it's on a ship, wherever. And they're just they've just they've just crossed eyes and then all of a sudden in the background you hear Daughter of the Fates fading in and getting louder. That would just be a dream for me, to be honest. So they're the main things that I wanted to see from from the show. I think it'd be interesting how they handle Reaver and Luke Skywalker particularly as well, and Reaver's character. We have heard that she gets killed off. We've heard that she survives. We heard that things have been changed. Um, to be honest, we're not going to be sure on what happens until tomorrow. And then we move on to Andor. Well, then we move on to Andor, 31st of August. Um, we've got the Lego Star Wars movie coming out at the beginning of August. Then we've got Andor for 12 weeks. So that's uh, a good solid run that's three months and that's going to take us and that's going to lead us into like november and uh it's going to be finishing the bad bat's going to be starting uh bad bat season two about a couple of weeks before it and or finishes and then after the bad batch we're basically at mandalorian season three so we're not going to be short on star wars content uh like just before the book of Boba Fett, we had a year without anything that was uh that was a dry year that was a dry year and it was probably the wrong time to start a youtube channel about star wars to be honest with you when there's not much new content to talk about but hey ho you know we're here now we're it's getting there and uh we move so uh there's plenty to look forward to i'm going to be uh looking into adding some new aspects to the channel after kenobi's out of the way uh for andor in time for andor live streams have some guests on and uh we're going to see where it goes so uh let's uh let's look forward to the last episode of kenobi and it's uh it's a shame it's coming to an end so fast but here we are and i'll see you all on the other side may the force be with you